Musakusa was appointed as ambassador to the UK in 1980. He later served as head of the Libyan intelligence agency. He was also seen as a key figure in Libya's efforts to improve relations with many NATO countries. In fact, Kusa was responsible for helping to transform Libya from a pariah state into a Western ally and economic partner. He persuaded Gaddafi to abandon the country's nuclear weapons program, which led to the lifting of long-standing international sanctions. Later, he also played a key role in reaching deals to compensate victims of the 1988 Lockerbie bombing in Scotland. Musa's defection has surprised many who knew him back home in Libya. It's also being seen as a boost for the opposition, whose forces are losing ground in the fight against Gaddafi's army. Now in Britain, Musa may be able to provide coalition allies with vital information on the inner structure and workings of Gaddafi's administration. The regime may be making advances on the ground, but many will ask how long it can survive if it continues to lose some of its most important men. Nazanin Sadri, Al Jazeera.